Hello everyone, welcome to the first lesson which is targeted towards those of you studying AS Biology. This lesson is part of the Biological Molecules topic. The objectives for this lesson are to know the difference between a monomer and a polymer, identify some biological polymers and the monomers from which they're made, and to be able to explain the difference between a condensation and a hydrolysis reaction. In order to understand the importance of biological molecules, we first need to understand what we're made up of, and this is part of a topic known as molecular biology. It is a branch of science that studies molecular basis of biological activity. All life we know is based around carbon, which is able to combine with many other elements to form a large number of carbon-based or organic molecules. In this diagram, I have this hunky model of a human showing the various components of what we're made up of. You can see on there, we've got things like nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Specific groups of atoms called functional groups attach to a carbon-hydrogen core and determine the specific chemical properties of that molecule. The organic macromolecules, which are essentially just large complex molecules that make up living things like me and you, can be grouped into four classes, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. The three important biological polymers the unit expects you to be fully knowledgeable about are things like carbohydrates, proteins and nucleic acids, as I've mentioned earlier. And in turn, the exams will be very specific about the monomers that make up polymers, as well as the definition of the word polymer. So, the mark scheme definition given is that a polymer is a series of many identical repeating units known as monomers. The diagram here shows you the monomers represented by the blue blobs. It shows the process of polymerization, that is the process that produces the polymers and you can see the chain-like molecule that's formed and it's held together by the black lines which represent the chemical bonds between the functional groups of each of the monomers. You will also be aware of the monomers that the main three polymers are made up of, as this is something you learn in GCSE. So we know that proteins such as haemoglobin are made up of amino acids. We know that carbohydrates such as starch or cellulose are made up of monosaccharides. And we also know that nucleic acids like DNA are made up of nucleotides. There are a whole other set of videos that I'll post up later which detail each of these examples, so I won't spend too much time looking at it in this particular video, but please look out for further content on this. You need to be able to describe how polymers form exactly. The reaction that takes place is known as the condensation reaction. This means when the functional groups of two monomers form a bond, there is a molecule of water released by the reaction. Let's look at a simple representation of it over here. We can see here we've got a bunch of amino acids in this diagram and they're represented by the circles and the triangle and the squares. Acids. So on this diagram there are a total of eight places where one amino acid will bind to another and therefore there are eight molecules of water which could be formed when these monomers react to form a polymer. The opposite of a condensation reaction is a hydrolysis reaction. This basically means that the initial polymerization process is reversible. We can achieve hydrolysis by the chemical addition of a water molecule which then splits the bond. The word hydrolysis comes from hydro meaning water and in biology lysis means to split or to break open. Other videos later will show you how this process works in more detail when we actually apply it to specific polymers. The final important definition you need to know is that of a monomer. The mark schemes for exams want you to be able to describe the monomer as a molecule from which larger molecules are made or the molecule from which polymers are made. Any one of the first two points will get you one mark in an exam. The second mark will be awarded for saying that it is a repeating unit. Lots of students make the mistake of saying that it is a building block. Strictly speaking, this is not permitted as an answer in the exam, despite many of us using that as a description in general conversation about monomers. Please try and avoid using the word building block as you may not be awarded the mark. So that's all I have for you on this particular topic area. The next video posted will cover the carbohydrate section, so we will look at mon monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides, and it's likely that this information will be split across a few videos just to make it a bit more manageable. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and spread the word amongst your friends. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found that useful. Please leave me comments and share where you can. Thanks again, bye everyone!